The movie Legally Blonde, directed by Robert Luckatech and starring Reese Witherspoon, tells the story of Elle Woods, a wealthy, beautiful, and popular sorority girl who enrolls in Harvard Law School in order to win her boyfriend Warner back. Although she initially struggles to succeed both socially and academically, she finds friends in beautician Paulette and associate Emmett, gains a prestigious internship, and wins a trial for her sorority sister Brooke Wyndham. The end of the movie shows Elle in a happy relationship with Emmett and giving the commencement speech to her class at Harvard, while Warner barely graduates without honors, without a girlfriend, and without any job offers. Legally Blonde is riddled with problematic lines and plot devices, such as wholly ignoring class privileges, including only one non-white speaking character, depicting gay men as flamboyant and feminine fashionistas, and presenting white, wealthy elves experiencing intense discrimination simply for being blonde and pretty. One particularly interesting issue, and the subject of this video vlog, is the movie's use of feminism and female friendships. On the surface, Legally Blonde's message about female friendships appear counter-hegemonic. However, sources of and motivation for female community rely, like in other Hollywood movies such as Mean Girls and Clueless, on women's beauty, bodies, sexuality, and relationships with men. Legally Blonde offers many examples of strong female relationships, especially Elle's friendships with her sorority sisters, Paulette and the other women at the salon, and sorority sister and defendant Brooke Wyndham. At the beginning of the movie, all of Elle's sisters help her get into law school by keeping her focused on LSAT studying and celebrating with her when she scores well and gets accepted to Harvard. At the end of the film, two of them again arrive to support her at her trial. Paulette and Elle also have a close and supportive relationship as Paulette encourages Elle to continue law school and Elle helps Paulette get her dog back from her ex-boyfriend. Finally, Elle develops a close relationship with her sorority sister and defendant, Brooke Wyndham, by re believing her innocence and refusing to give up her alibi to her professor and internship advisor, Callahan, even though it will likely earn her favor. What the hell do you mean you went to visit her? I went to get her alibi. Did you get it? Mm-hmm. It's really good. Well, great. What is it? Oh, I can't tell you. Why the hell not? Because I promised her I'd keep it a secret, and I can't break the bonds of sisterhood. Screw sisterhood! This is a murder trial, not some scandal. At the sorority house, I want the alibi. I can't give it to you. But I can tell you she is innocent. <sighs> Mr. Callahan, Mrs. Wyndham Vandermark is online, too, for you. Someone... Reason with her while I take this. Are, are you crazy? Just tell him the alibi. No. We're gonna lose this case if you don't. Well, then we're not very good lawyers. If you tell him, he'll probably hire you as a summer associate. Who cares about Brooke? Think about yourself. I gave her my word, Warner. So what? This choice results in Elle's success later in the movie, when Brooke fires Callahan and hires Elle to defend her at the trial instead. However, the points of bonding for women in the film are limited. The first access for bonding is around beauty and bodies. In the film's opening montage and early scenes, Elle and her sorority sisters exercise, paint their nails, do their hair, and go shopping for clothes together. Similarly, Elle bonds with Brooke by bringing her skincare products and discussing workout techniques. Whenever Elle struggles at Harvard, she finds refuge and social connection in the salon, literally named Beauty Oasis, where she meets Paulette and other patrons. The ability of this site in particular to facilitate female connection is highlighted when one of her professors, who previously was cruel to Elle, overhears her plans to drop out after being sexually harassed by another professor and encourages her to stay in law school. Although the women experience tension in the classroom, they are able to bond in the beauty-focused space of the nail salon. Additionally, one of the key bonding scenes that takes place inside the nail salon is Elle teaching Paulette and some of the other women the bend and snap, a move centered around accentuating their bodies to win over men. 
The bend and snap scene also showcases the importance of sexuality in heterosexual relationships in female community. Many of the conversations between the female characters center around their relationships, such as when Elle helps Paulette get over her ex and win over the FedEx man, and when Elle's sorority sisters eagerly anticipate her engagement to Warner. Most notably, though, Elle's relationship with Vivian is contingent upon their romantic and sexual relationships. The girls initially are enemies because Vivian is engaged to Warner, and they are jealous of each other. Their initial bonding comes when Vivian compliments Elle for standing up to Brooke, and the two share a laugh about Warner's living habits, familial relationships, and struggle to get into Harvard. However, their friendship is again tested when Vivian walks in on Callahan making sexual advances towards Elle, believing Elle slept with Callahan in order to get the internship. They don't become best friends until Elle clears her name regarding the Callahan incident and Vivian finally breaks up with Warner. Overall, Legally Blonde suggests that women create community almost exclusively through conversing about beauty, their bodies, and their boyfriends. Although the film does a good job of breaking down the hegemonic narrative that women are unable to form strong, positive relationships, and that it is natural for girls to bully, slut, shame, and sabotage each other, it still falls into the problematic trap of characterizing women largely based on their physical appearance and sexual relationships.